years ago, before the Dahmer series, before it was, I was in a Q and A with fans, with young fans. It was young fans at the time. Mm -hmm. It was like, I think it was like, in between, like me being cat and pop stuff. So it was like mm -hmm. a younger okay. group. Okay. But it was with a parent. Someone said. If you could have dinner with anyone living or, or dead, who, who would it be? And I was like, oh, you're so cute. Who, um, mom and dad, is it okay if I give the real answer? <laughs> and they were like, sure, I guess, what, what's the answer? And I was like, um, I mean, Jeffrey Dahmer's pretty fascinating. I think I would have loved to have met him. Wow. <laughs> like, you know, maybe with a third party or something. What exactly is so fascinating about Jeffrey Dahmer? A man who kept jars of heads in his refrigerator. It bottles my mind who they blow up for children to look at. Taylor Swift, witch. Kaylani, witch. Beyonce, witch. And now you're starting to hear some of the outlandish things from Ariana Grande. Why do they blow these people up? Why are these the biggest celebrities and entertainers in the world? You realize it's brainwashing that they're doing, right? For example, when you hear a song for the first time, if you do not like that song, but you continue to hear it over and over and over again on the radio, sooner or later you're going to be singing that song. It's called brainwashing. So what they do with a lot of these people is they will pick and choose who they want to blow up. And they will begin a process on working in their minds even, where they begin an MK Ultra process and they begin planting seeds in these individuals. Because at the end of the day, they are all souls. However, they are souls in the midst of a lot of corruption. They are souls with a lot of false seeds planted into their gardens. And when a false seed is planted, just like Adam and Eve, you will fall from that false seed. This is why the Lord wants us to engraft his seed. Luke 8, 11 says the seed is the word. The Lord wants us to engraft his word, his seed. But the enemy wants us to engraft his word, his seed. And how can the enemy accomplish that? by these people right here by engrafting his seed in them and they begin engrafting his seed in us. This is why I say it's important to pay attention to what you look at and what you hear because your eyes and ears are portals. That's why I say stop listening to these people. They are brainwashing you, manipulating you, and even you are going through an MKUltra process when you listen to them. Come out of the matrix, my brothers and sisters. Come out.